All right, and I still remain on the Azimio team uh, press conference. Azimio leader Raila Odinga has poked holes in international trips taken by leaders while Kenyans are suffering. The remarks came even as both President William Ruto and Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa are out of the country for official duties. The Azimio boss was referring to the reviewed hiked fuel prices that were done on Thursday night. He said that leaders are busy traveling the world while innocent Kenyans are suffering. Sandra Kidamani brings us more details. It's been a grand disaster. All of the House of Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party, led by Raila Odinga on Friday, led a press meeting that had no kind of words for President William Ruto's regime one year after taking over power. We have a statement by Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party. September 15th, 2023. According to the opposition team, they focused on three areas, namely to receive and review a report on the status of the National Dialogue Talks, to assess and share with Kenyans Azimio's take on one year of Kenya Kwanzaa's regime, and to analyze the general health of our nation. We have had a meeting with the full house of, of Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party that focus on three areas. In a statement read by Mr. Odinga, their deliberations focused on the management of the economy and its impact on cost of living and the management of education. To receive and review a report on the status of the national dialogue talks, to assess and share with Kenyans our take on one year of Kenya Kwanzaa regime, and to analyze the general health of our nation one year since Kenya Kwanzaa imposed itself on our people. Casting doubt to the aspirations and communications by the government that says Kenya Kwanzaa's economy is growing, the opposition team termed the statements as oratory or extravagant claims in an attempt to hide extremely disastrous and difficult one year that there is no reason whatsoever for Kenyans to believe that the next year will be better. In the past one year, that is September 2022 to September 2023. Kenyans have been treated to loud claims and boasts on how great we are doing as a nation. We have been made to believe that we are first in Africa, that we are beating our quiet neighbors in every aspect of competition, that the future is guaranteed. At the sunset on the first year of Kenya Kwanzaa, it is clear that no amount of oratory or extravagant claims can hide the harsh fact that we have had an extremely disastrous and difficult one, one year. And there is no reason whatsoever for Kenyans to believe that the next one year will be better. Kenya Kwanzaa government has so far increased the cost of diesel by 21 shillings, paraffin price went up by 33 shillings, and petrol rose up by 16 shillings. And I'm talking to you as somebody who has been a minister for energy in my other early incarnations. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that is the, the cost of the mess that we're having. They say that we are going to do a G2G and that they're going to pay in Kenya shillings. And you ask yourself, what are the Arabs in the, middle, in the Middle East going to do with Kenya shillings? <laughs> She's falling down. So the, the time as we see the chicken are coming back home to roost. Yeah. Here. So that's put us where we put us where we are here. And it is unfortunate that there's the Kenyans who are innocent Kenyans who are basically now suffering mm. when those who are responsible are globe trotting. Looking at coffee in, 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 in Colombia, uh, 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 I mean, uh, 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 and uh, the, the tigers, uh, they're moving around when the Kenyans are suffering. It's very, very unfortunate indeed. The cost of every item that is basic to life has gone up. The price of one kilogram of sugar has gone up to 61%.
The price of one kilogram of loose maize flour has gone up to 9.6%. Rent for a single room rose by 2.8%. The price of a two kilogram fortified unga has gone up to 8.1%. 50 kilowatt electricity has gone up by 6.7%. 200 kilowatt electricity has gone up by 4.8%. One liter of kerosene has risen by 3.11%. A liter of diesel has risen by 28.0%. A liter of petrol went up by 22.1%. Wines and spirits went up by 9.0%. Businesses are struggling, defaulting and folding up when the larger private sector is at best stagnating or equally folding up. In the last one year, the proportion of micro and small businesses defaulting on loans has increased by 17%. As the new team also indicated that the price rises were before the developments of last night, warning Kenyans to expect another 365 days of high cost of living. There are strong indications that the things will get worse or remain the same. We, however, refuse to ask. We refuse to ask you to tighten your belts. You have done enough. No amount of fertilizer will lower the cost of food <laughs> as long as the cost of fuel is unchecked. Diesel is one of the highest costs in farming. Even if you give the citizen a bag of fertilizer that make it impossible for her or him to plow an acre of land, you have not solved the problem. The shilling taking the, 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 the grains, like me. The value of the shillings, the Raila led opposition team opined that in a year under Kenya Kwanza, Kenyan's currency, the Kenyan shillings, has lost a quarter of its value against the U.S. dollar. He added that the shilling lost 20% of its value against Tanzania and Uganda shillings. In the second quarter of 2022, which is the first era of Kenya Kwanza regime leading into 2023, the economy grew by only 5.2%. In a similar period in 2021, it grew by 11%. The regime resorted to no borrowing, ignoring the warnings that we are in debt distress and at the risk of debt default. Without blinking an eye, the regime went against its promises to reduce borrowing and this the new leader the Raila Odinga opposite. has also warned President William Ruto to prepare for the fate of African presidents who are being overthrown due to incompetence if he does not correct the economic situation in the country. The ball is squarely in the court of the regime. They either act or await the fate that has fallen other insensitive and incompetent regimes across the continent. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, my name is Sandra Kidamani.